My name is David White. I'm a financial trader here at Spreadix. I think most people try and use both of them in sympathy of each other. So you might have Forex traders who look exclusively at um, technicals. Um, you may have people who use a quantitative strategy, so something that maybe could be more robust than, than technical analysis. But if somebody's looking at you know, the FTSE 100, then they may well try and gain a picture of the fundamental picture. So using things like metrics such as price earnings, uh, price to book, um, things like that in sympathy of maybe support and resistance levels. Um, here at SpreadX, we find that people certainly use a combination of the two. Um, I mean, you could just pick one, but if one can, if one can, can work in conjunction with the other and people find that to work, then I guess that would be better than just isolating to one. So if, if for example, you're looking at a currency like um, Euro Dollar, Spot Euro Dollar, and the currency has moved from, uh, where was it, about 120, 121, way back when, and it's since now trading about 134, 135. You can look at, you can say, for example, there's resistance at 136, but on a, fundamentally, you can also say that owing to um, a weaker dollar because of the printing occurring by the, the Fed, and maybe also because of the ECB's balance sheet shrinking as well, which is creating euro strength, then in sympathy with the fundamentals, maybe you're technical analysis may not be as compelling as, as it would have been without the fundamental analysis. So it's good to maybe use a combination of things um, to try and get the, the most accurate picture of what might play out next. So I mean they're all, um, it's all on price history. So something like uh, the most popular one is the moving average. So that just, and you can have that exponential or you can just have it normal, um, uh, a simple moving average. And the point of that is it's supposed to give you some kind of memory of the price. So if the price, if the moving average, if the 90 day or 200 day moving average is, is at let's say 100 and the price is currently at 50, well it immediately tells you that the price has recently moved higher. And it can tell you by how much it's moved higher. Some people will look at that to say that there's momentum in the market and that's, that, can, that can continue. Others might look at it and say, well, this is overbought and it, it may well experience a period of consolidation and, and, and perhaps correction from there on. Um, you have the moving average, you have things like Bollinger Bands, you have things like, um, let me just think about this, RSI, so Relative Strength Index, um, Relative Strength Index um, essentially measures how overbought and, and oversold as stock is. Again, there's, it's questionable to actually how well these things work because it's like driving using the rear view mirror. Um, so you're looking at something that's happened in the past to try and figure out what's going to happen next, whereas actually something may have fundamentally changed. So if, if, if let's say you're looking at technical analysis on a currency and all of a sudden the central bank of that currency or that, that country has started printing a huge amount of money, then the currency will weaken and you can look at your relative strength, in, strength index and say, well, it looks oversold here, but if the, if the money supply is like that, then it, it might be silly to, to look at just that alone without considering other things. So there are lots of different indicators, uh, Bollinger Bands, um, uh, you've got things like the moving average, RSI, momentum indicators. Um, but to, to use those by themselves, it can have the ability of, of um, presenting false confidence sometimes. So it's easy to just look at something and think, well, that, that's a buy signal, I'll rely on that, and I'll just put the trade on and forget about it. It kind of almost removes the responsibility from the trader and, and you can just rely on that. But to use those things in sympathy with, with other observations is, is normally uh, a more prudent way to go about it. Oh no, absolutely. I mean, we offer our charting package through the through the mobile platform, so people can view price action. I mean, I would say that's one of the most frequently viewed things by by traders and market participants is price action. So, if you have very, let's say you have 15 positions across different stocks, then when you come to look at your positions or your portfolio, you might have a look at the recent price action intraday, six months, just to get a picture of what the market thinks of the stock or or the financial instrument. 
and you can certainly do that using our mobile platform so you're able not just to deal using the mobile platform but you're also able to look at things like price action um, and you can also manage your orders you can you can add funds and things like that so it's not just about executing orders you can actually look at price action with, indica with indicators that I've previously mentioned like moving averages, RSI and, and things like that.